Let's play Overwatch. I can't wait to play this game. I've been waiting for it. That's it? That's all what the game has to offer? Come on. Come on, Blizzard. What's wrong? Hi everybody, how you doing? This is Zeus and welcome to Overwatch Review. So Overwatch is a new game by Blizzard Company. For the people who doesn't know Blizzard Company, the company who made uh, World of Warcraft, Dota, uh, Starcraft, and Diablo. So all of these are awesome games with an awesome rich story and background story and the characters deep and everything's deep. Gameplay amazing. Uh, so they always stunning with amazing games. They're always really high ranks. So this is the first time to make a first person shooter fast paced first person shooter so overwatch the story for overwatch they are like a bunch of group of people or heroes they have like powers or skills they have to defend some war that happened and they cleared the whole earth and defended on it from the enemies and terrorists until one time people turn start to turn up rogues from the overwatch people and they become enemies some of them like turn to themselves to justice some of them like disappear and now they are come back and they are trying to fight uh, like between each other. So that's how how is the story. So this does the story the, does the game has a story or a campaign mode? No, unfortunately. But it's okay. It's a multiplayer game. That's what Blizzard wanted. But the game has a really good potential behind a really great story for each character for each like like they could make a really great campaign. But it's okay. So I'm gonna review this game as a multiplayer only. So now let's talk about the good things about the game and the bad things. Now the good things about the game that this game offers you a 21 playable character. All of them are free, you don't need to level up and you will open another character. No, all of them are open. They are cool. And each character are unique than the other. There is no similar than the other characters and each one are different. Also there is 5 characters for each class. There is 5, 4, sorry. There is 4 classes. The offense, defense, carry, and support. So all of these, oh sorry, and tank, five classes. So all of these things that, as you hear now, tank, explosive, defense, and carry, that's mean you say like, oh, this is a team play game. Exactly. It is a team play game. That's the fun in it. So you have to coordinate with your team play and play like, you know, you have your own strategy to win the game. You can't just go run and jump and all of that. So you will do the whole thing. Sometimes it's work, but not all the time. So that's a great thing about it and the 21 characters. And each character has a three active skills. Two skills at the beginning and the third one is the ultimate skill, which is like big levels or something. And also they have passive skill. Uh, some characters have two passive skills, some of characters have one passive skill. So all of these things use you know, like add a really unique game style and really nice which is also it took from other game which is Team Fortress if you never heard about it it's on Steam it's free to play it's the same thing like each character has a base skill and defense tank sniper whatever so the, that's how it is now the other thing good about this game is the graphics now the game is polished and designed in a cartoonish way but in perfect everything perfect the graphics perfect the whole design for the levels are great so all of these things are really amazing and they keep you want interest to the game like for the people who look for graphics and some kind of new polish graphics and all of that you would love it definitely now that's the second thing good about this game the third thing is the maps now there is like eight to ten playable maps and all of them are different and unique of course than the other ones and each map in different city and all of that because you know that's how the way the story was so but never mind so there's as i said like there's different maps each map has two ways let's say in greek there is uh, one path if you if you're gonna play capture there's one path like you're gonna play as a capture in that area there's other path you're gonna play another play like in the same area in athena but in different path. So there is different varieties in the maps. Yes, I will say that. And it's really nice, as I said, and polished and well designed. And it's give you a really good space. Like if you want to play as a defense and have a good turrets, you will have a really good places to put it. If you want to play as a sniper, you will have a really good places to put a sniper. 
if you want to go like behind the enemies and play fast pace and just run and kill and use your short guns and all of that all melee style there is also a ways and secret passages that you can use to to give you that so all of these three things are give you a really good thing about it, the game the fourth thing which is gonna be the last thing about this game is good is the team play you really need a good team and team play to win the game and that will make this game really good you don't want to get just like have a first person shooter or game or just like regular which is just jump and shoot and depend on your skills and all of that and you forget the whole team you want a game like really you coordinate and cooperate with your own team that will make it more fun that will make way fun actually to coordinate some put sniper some put turn some defend or attack or the way it is you know will be more fun and that's what the like the game gave you but does it force you to do that now that's one of the bad things about the game the game doesn't force you to play as a team play because you can choose for, uh, the all of the like all the players I can choose the same character which is I saw that it's really bad I know they wanted to give you the whole opportunity to play with your favorite character let's say some other player are playing with your favorite character and you also wanted to play that they will give you that variety but I see that it's not good I mean you want to have a good team play. You want to have support. You want to have like a fence. You want to have support. Uh, sorry, carry. You want to have a sniper. You want to have a tank. So you want to coordinate. You don't want everybody to choose the soldier. Okay, everybody choosing the same style. Every no, it will be like boring. And sometimes, if you don't choose the soldier, sometimes you are gonna lose, and you will hate because people just keep doing that, keep doing that. They don't listen. So this is one of the bad things. The second thing, the price for the game. I mean, for a game for only first person shooter and only for multiplayer, 40 bucks on PC and 60 bucks on PC, which is called the Origin Mode or the Origin Game, which is $20 for five skin. Can you believe that? That's a little bit too much, isn't it? I mean, or maybe I see that, but it's too much. And also forty dollars is too much for this kind of game. For consoles, it's sixty bucks. I mean, come on. I see that it's like way too much. Now the third bad thing, the game has two modes only. One of them is capture. Uh, sorry, three modes. I'm sorry, three modes: capture, uh, p uh, push the payload, which is. It's include two modes, which is attack and defense, which is the payload is the attackers has to make the payload move around and until reach the whole destination. And the other defense people need like to stop them before the time, like, uh, like before the time clocks out. So the defense team would win. If they, if not, then the attack uh, team will win. And it's the same thing. Is it a playable? Is it fun to play those two modes? Definitely because you have a unique characters and you have a lot of maps. So definitely you will have fun Definitely you will see that those, t those two modes are nice, but for how long? How long and you will feel like it's boring now. It's Repetitive game and you will keep doing that Now for the fourth thing if you want to play the game alone if you don't have friends, let's say, and you want to play a game alone and enjoy the whole team play. Let's say you want to choose a, a character that you are good in it, but the whole uh, characters are choosing another things. And so you have to, you know, if you want to play as a support, you, so you can support the team because nobody chooses the support. You play support and you will suck in it and people will judge on you. Oh, you noob. Oh, you bad at it. You don't know how to play. Yeah, because all of you choose the same character. And I have to be the one who support this thing. So that's one of the things that I hate because if you play alone, you will not get to enjoy. You will feel like really frustrating, and you will hear a lot of people talking bad shit about you or about the other players or anything because they are the cool. They are the one with the high kills. Yes, you choose soldier or you choose a high tank character that can kill people or turrets and sit in one place and shoot. Yeah, that's bad. I mean, don't you think? So if you have a play, if you have a friends, five team, full, you will enjoy it because you will talk with them, you will coordinate, 
you will, if they are your friends, they will listen. They, oh, everybody will choose their own characters, and you know they will all support, attack, and all of that. So you will have fun, and you will enjoy doing that. But if you want to play alone, no. Now the other one, the other thing is if you play with AI, the force, sorry, the game forced you to play with people. They told you like, oh, we put you AI if you want to play, but sorry, but our AI is bad and broken, and it's so bad. Yeah. So it's forced you to do that. There is a custom mode, which is, you know, if you want to play with all your friends, five against five, or, you know, do the whole custom thing, skill, fast, base, and everything. And there's other mode, which is nobody played. It's bi-weekly, it will be upgraded. One time it will make you fast uh, XP, more XP, more damage, skill, uh, lower reduction for skills, and all of that. But most people play the regular one. There is no rank mode. There is only regular one, which is okay. Because the games offer you that, even if you are really bad at first person shooter, this game is still gonna be good for you because you're gonna learn for it. You don't need to be a really good aggressive high fast reaction player to have a really good uh, sniper thing, shots, or really good melee attacks or something. No, you will get used to it and you will try each character in unique style. And you try them until you love one, three or five characters and you keep playing them and you will become really pro with it. So that's what really nice about it. Also. The game is really fast. Like the match will take five to six minutes only. So that's mean an hour you can play a lot of matches. That's one of the good things. I sorry I forgot to say that. But well that's one of the good things. But it's still not enough. I still see it like really not enough. Also there's something called the reward. Uh whenever you level to a reward, uh they will give you a loot box. This loot box can have uh, skin for a character, uh, spray, uh, emblem, logo, and, uh, and voice act, uh, voice character voice, different voice or something, or stunt, or whatever. So they will reward you each uh, level. And also they will show you like, you know, at the end of the match, if you have a really cool kills and all of that, they will show you like the play of the match or play of the game or whatever. So this is kind of nice thing that encourage people to do more and more and you know or feel happy or vote for the other characters that they did really good job and support the team or other even the enemy if they play really good so yeah the game offer you a lot of skins yes and they are really cool skins definitely because we all know Blizzard they has a really cool things to offer but here's the thing why the micro transaction I mean you already charge us 40 bucks or 60 bucks for the people who bought it you want us also to charge for a micro transaction? That's a cheap shot, don't you think? I mean, just saying that. I know you can be patient by leveling up, level up, level up. It will open for you everything, every single skin. But if you are really want it fast and everything, yes, you have to buy it. And you have to earn them more money. That's all what I can say for Overwatch because it's a still a pre-release. The game will be added a lot of continents as Blizzard uh, said or like announced or promised that we will have more continent, more characters, more maps and all gonna be for free. So let's see. So I'm just gonna judge at the release of the game and all of that. So is it Overwatch really worth your money? 40 bucks? Hell no. It's not worth it. I tell you if you really like if you can wait and if you don't have friends to play with, wait until it becomes sales or until they release the full continent. Then it's gonna worth 40 bucks. But other than that, no, because it's the two modes, repetitive modes, and lack of team play unless if you have a team, as I said, and also the microtransaction, and there is no story, but we said it's a multiplayer, so I will take that out. Sorry about that. No background story. They add you like some kind of trailer so they can explain the story of the characters and all of that. But it's still not enough. Maybe I'm too harsh for this game. Maybe I'm too critique. But that's my opinion. And I have to give that. So now the final vertical for this game. I'm going to give it 6 out of 10. Yes, the game is fun. I'm going to keep playing it. Definitely. I have friends to play and I, we enjoy playing it. Switch it and all of this. But. Is it gonna last for long? I mean, Overwatch really hide 
uh, Battle Bomb by the ads and the whole hype for other people. But if you compare it with Battle Bomb, which is, it doesn't compare at all, but if you compare it, Battle Bomb has more to offer. A lot of things, a lot of content. But, you know, it's a whole community and whole ads and everything, and who's the biggest company that will take the whole thing. So that's all what I can say. Uh, as I said, it's really good graphics, really nice gameplay, fast paced matches are some, like uh, like five minutes, six minutes, which is really can allow you to have a play a lot of matches without getting bored. Maybe later, especially if you have friends. But also there is, has some negative in it. So I kind of give you that for release. It will get, of course, higher the game once they full like add the full continent, the more modes, more maps, more characters, or anything else that they will add, something really fun. Yeah, of course, the, the game will be high, and I will be love to review it again, or just update my whole review, and say like, oh, they add something like that, and now the game is like that. But until now, wait for it. If you really, really want to play the game that's so much, and you can't stand it, Okay, buy it for 40 bucks on PC. But if you really can wait and you don't have friends and all that, then hold up. Wait until it becomes for sale. So that's all what I can say. Thank you all for watching and I hope you like it. And please leave a like if you like it or if you agree with me or you disagree with me. Please write it in the comments. Tell me why do you disagree or why you agree or why if you have another point. Or did I miss some points from my whole review? Remind me. And also don't forget that I have a new page called Zuzu the Beast. It has all the walkthroughs going to be for a lot of games because that's when I get a request for a lot of walkthroughs. So I'm going to do that for this kind of page only for walkthroughs. So if you like, just check it out. And that's it. Thank you all for watching and I'm going to see you next time.